85 barrels of oil, sir. They're all capped and stored. How's the wind? North or east and steady. I'll make the most of it. I do not wish to linger on this Cape Verde ground. We are bound for the Pacific, Mr. Starbuck. Straight away, you will plot a course south by east to the line. And so southeast to pick up the Guinea current. Aye, aye, sir. Mr. Starbuck, did you ever ponder the movements of whales around the four oceans? I only know that they appear at certain feeding grounds in certain seasons. Look here. Log books from the time New Bedford men first went to whaling help me draw this chart. It divides the oceans into areas of five degrees of latitude by five of longitude. Here are the months of the years. The ships that passed, how long they lingered, the whales they saw, what size, what color, how many, where heading. I never saw the like. This way the humpbacks go, the blue, the right, the spermaceti, sea mile by sea mile. I know their hidden journeys as I know the veins in my arm. Do you mean to say that their journeys can be foretold? Aye. Like the blood pumping in my veins, from heart to hand. If this be so, we can follow along with the herds, killing as we go, or fill our hole in record time. So we shall, Mr. Starbuck, so we shall, once we've attended to our bigger business. What is that business, Captain? Him, Mr. Starbuck, him. What's true of the herds holds largely for the great solitaries and hermits. These sources tell the truth, and my calculations are not faulty. He now swims the waters of good hope, and all the Indian Ocean lies before him. Next month, he cruises the Bengal Bay, March, the Sulu Sea, running eastward to the gateway of the Pacific. I shall be waiting for him, here, at new moon in April. Mr. Starbuck. I must give the helmsman our course. Come about, sir. Why are you wearing that long face? Are you not game for Moby Dick? Captain Ahab, I am game for any kind of death if it comes in the way of the business we follow. That be no. But I came here to hunt whales, not my commander's vengeance. How many barrels of sperm oil will thy vengeance yield? What will it fetch on the new Bedford market? Money is not the measure, man. It will fetch me a great premium. Here. To be enraged with a dumb brute that acted out of blind instinct is blasphemous. Speak not to me of blasphemy, man. I'd strike the sun if it insulted me. Look here, Starbuck. All visible objects are but as pasteboard masks. Some inscrutable yet reasoning thing puts forth the molding of their features. The white whale tasks me. He heaps me, yet he is but a mask. Tis the thing behind the mask I chiefly hate, the malignant thing that has plagued and frightened man since time began, the thing that mauls and mutilates our race, not killing us outright, but letting us live on with half a heart and half a lung. Just keep us all. The 
Cruz stands with me, Mr. Starbuck. You heard them swear. Now, what say ye? Surely the best lance out of all New Bedford will not hold back from the greatest hunt of all. I say calmly back to thee, sir, I am against thee. But thee needn't fear Starbuck. Let Ahab beware Ahab. Beware thyself. <laughs> 